Hey, this is Chase from Techtone, and welcome to part two of the TechCare 700 video training series. In this section, we will cover programming and tuning the door controller. Before beginning the tuning process, ensure that the door controller is installed according to the IL 970 TechCare 700 installation manual, using one of the two available methods. Before beginning the tuning process, remove the cover of the door controller using the included driver. Once the cover is removed, note the removable terminal blocks and large wiring diagram inside the front cover of the door controller. In addition to the wiring connections, now is a good time to familiarize yourself with the tuning capacitors that will be used in later steps. Note that there are three tuning capacitors, one for each of the X, Y, and Z axes. It is important to note that the tuning must be done once the controller is completely wired and installed in its permanent location. Tuning is heavily dependent on environmental factors, and no two door controllers will be tuned the same. Here's an example of a door controller that has been completely wired up. From left to right are the connections for the keypad, magnetic switch contacts, mag lock, power connections, and the two terminal blocks for the TechCare 700 network. These terminals are used to connect door controllers and display units together on the network. Each door controller must be assigned a unique address to communicate on the TechCare 700 network. When the door controllers are shipped, they are all assigned to address 30. Using the Accutech 2400 utility, we will show you how to assign a unique address and make several other critical adjustments to the door controller. In order to connect the door controller for programming, we'll be using the CA702 USB to serial adapter included with your starter kit. Using this wiring diagram, connect the CA702 to either 3-pin terminal block at TB6 or TB7. You may use any multi-conductor cable for this short programming cable. Connect the CA702 to an open USB port on a laptop that can be carried to each door controller. Windows should automatically find and install the drivers for the CA702 and assign a COM port to it. Starting at the first door controller to be programmed, remove the TechCare 700 network connections from TB6 and TB7. Connect the programming cable to either location. Next, open the Accutech 2400 utility. Select Setup tab. Select the COM port from the drop-down menu. Ensure the PHT loop box is checked. You should see configuration options appear on the screen below. These options allow you to control timing features of the door controller. Next, under the Advanced tab, you will find options for assigning an RS-485 address. This address should be identical to the door controller ID. Available ID options are any number 1 through 30. The default door controller ID will be set to 30. On the same network loop, every door controller must be assigned a different ID. For our example, we will be using 1. Confirm the changes by clicking Set. Next, the Error Codes tab is used for troubleshooting the door controller and will display any error codes that the door controller is reporting by putting a check in the box next to the error that is occurring. Under the RF tab is where the majority of the door controller tuning will occur. Begin by ensuring the low frequency TX gain is set to 26. If not, type the desired value under the New section and click Set. To finalize these changes, press Commit All Pending Data. This is necessary anytime you change a programmable feature of the utility. Next, we will cover changing the frequency of the door controller. This is necessary when two or more door controllers are in close proximity of each other, as a tag from one zone could trigger an alarm in a different zone. This is what we call crosstalk. Available transmit channels are values 1 through 9. Channel 3 is the default value for all door controllers. We recommend that if you are going to change frequency transmit channel, to do this before tuning the door controller antennas to avoid a second retune after making changes. If any of these values are changed, remember to commit all pending data so that the settings will be saved. 
Next, we will cover tuning the door controller antennas. An LED bar graph is located next to the tuning capacitors that shows the relative strength of the antenna. Using a flathead screwdriver, turn the capacitor clockwise to illuminate as many of the LED bars as possible. Repeat this process for all tuning capacitors on the X, Y, and Z axes. The goal of tuning the door controller is to achieve phase lock. This is accomplished by fine-tuning each of the tuning capacitors clockwise or counterclockwise until only a solid green LED is illuminated. Phase lock is indicated by only a solid green LED. If you are seeing red LEDs on either side, continue tuning. After the door controller is in phase lock, return to the RF tab of the utility. Below you will see values of the antennas. Ensure that these values are 750 or higher. If not, continue adjusting the tuning capacitors until this is achieved. After configuration is complete, be sure to reconnect the terminal blocks on TB6 and TB7 and reinstall the cover. This will complete configuration of the NC702 door controller. Continue on to the next video to complete configuration of the CT701A.